Welcome to my quarantine vlog. I just woke up. It's like 9.30. I'm lying. It's like noon. <laughs> Today marks one full week of my choice to be self-quarantined. What is going on, everyone? Week three? I think we're going on to week four of quarantine. Hope everyone is doing okay. My name is Kaylee. Since you guys loved... <laughs> Loved the video last week. I decided to hit you guys up with another vlog. Here we are. But before we get into today's vlog, I just want to give a huge freaking thank you to Scentbird. <laughs> That's right, Scentbird. Smelling good, smelling fresh. Scentbird is a monthly subscription service that gives you the opportunity to sample from over 600 brands in the fragrance, cosmetic, and skincare categories. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance to try every month for just $15. Each month, you will get a 30-day supply, which is about 120 to 140 sprays. Scentbird partners with the top brands, Prada, Gucci, Tom Ford, as well as smaller brands such as Glossier, Nest, and Toka. So you know you're getting that authentic fragrance. Let me tell y'all about what I got this month. Bitch got me smelling good. <laughs> Got me smelling good to go to the living room. All right. Let's see. I got Glossier. I was planning to go to Glossier, the pop-up in Atlanta, but then COVID-19 happened and they shut down for good. I never got a chance to go, but... Oh my God. That's so good. The Glossier U perfume smells like it would be very attractive to a lot of young female identifying people. I feel like I've smelled it before. The Tom Ford Velvet Orchard perfume smells very expensive, like almost as if it were to be worn by a very high-end CEO. The Euphoria by Calvin Klein scent smells like it has a very oaky afterbirth. Just kidding. This isn't wine. And also the purple tint of the liquid reminds me of the Euphoria show. As you guys know, I don't really indulge in luxury items. I'm a very low maintenance kind of So when you sign up for Semper, this is something that that can really make you feel like a queen or king. Circumstances are really strange right now, so it's really nice to be able to put on some perfume and smell a little nice. So make sure to use my coupon code for 30% off. That's just $10 for your first month. Once again, thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with it. everyone i have my breakfast right here eggs bacon grits sausage. okay no sausage just bacon but um my roommate god bless her soul she went to a outdoor farmer's market a few days ago and got us some things that we needed so i thought i would do like a little mukbang i asked you guys to ask me questions on my so <laughs> waffle just gagged crunch got a little avo toast with everything but the bagel seasoning and that's my breakfast breakfast haul okay so i asked you guys on my socials to send me questions i feel like there's something hanging from my mouth nope we're good i'm gonna answer some of your questions because i haven't really done a q a someone asked me ethan or grayson which i assume are the dolan twins and if you don't know the dolan twins are youtubers i don't know how old they are but to play it safe i'm gonna say neither only because i'm 24 and i feel like they might be under 18 so who knows what's your most recent album you've listened to oh my god crunch again my most listened to album right now is the hot pink album by doja cat i am in the top one percent of listeners please don't get it wrong <sighs> hardest part about doing a creative job rather than a logical one <laughs> i mean i think i know what you mean <laughs> But the wording definitely is a little offensive. Like, I think any job requires logic, like any job that you do. I think you mean like, what is the hardest part about doing a creative job versus a non-creative job? That's really all it is. Um, you always have to be on your A game. You always have to be thinking of the next thing. You always have to be on your toes. It's basically like a non-stop job. Like I'm always trying to brainstorm things. And sometimes I try to force things and it doesn't really work when you try to force ideas. When you go to a nine to five job, you can kind of just like turn off after work but I feel like I always have to stay on all the time which can be stressful especially because I do edit for other creators I always feel obligated to say yes to a project because I always need money any Trader Joe's products that you don't recommend okay one time I tried these vegan crab cakes no Bruh. they were made out of jackfruit they were really bad when was the last time you ate a hot dog too long ago, too long. I went to Sam's Club last month and my friend Courtney and I pigged out on some hot dogs and pizza because Sam's Club is a five-star Michelin star restaurant. That puzzle piece stayed on my arm the whole time. What age did you start creating content? Oh my God, 
I've been on YouTube since I was like 13 years old. Just I've had various channels throughout. I've talked about this before, but so a really long time. I've been around the block. <laughs> Is living with roommates fun or stressful? I really like my roommates. They've become very dear friends to me. I think it all depends on your situation. I really value my alone time and I don't really get it that much, but obviously I signed up to have roommates, so it's understandable. But like right now I do have alone time. It just makes having your alone time that much more special because you don't get it that much. Is it pee pee poo poo time? Always. Where do you get the inspiration to edit so well? I think it's because I'm a gift. <laughs> Just practice. I've been practicing like my whole life. Not my whole life, like since I was like 10. I started like using iMovie on my parents' computer and I've just sort of developed and evolved with editing and I just have a specific way that I do it. It's just something that over time you learn how to do. I just have patience for it and a lot of people don't. Like if you don't love editing, you basically hate it. Like there, I feel like there's no in between. People either love it or hate it and that's why they hire editors. I quickly ate my breakfast and then I made my way up to my room. My room has been suffering greatly since I started quarantining. So I decided that was enough and I wanted to clean it right then and there. I also have this closet in my room that has easily turned into a shit closet. Here are some clips of how dirty and messy it's gotten. I had plans on cleaning it, but never got to it. So just enjoy my messy closet. <laughs> Habadi. All right, so it's been a couple hours since I last talked to you. I've been editing a project for someone and I'm hungry. So let's make something. I don't know what we're gonna make. I don't know what to eat. <laughs> Might make a charcuterie board. Ooh, I can make oatmeal. One sec, I got oatmeal. I've been like feeding for some oatmeal lately. I don't know what it is, but I might do that. <laughs> oh, I don't really know what I wanna eat, so I'm making iced coffee. Because that's a meal in itself. We don't waste coffee in this house. And if we do, we compost it. I think I'm gonna make me some steel cut oats. I think my roommate is coming home later and we're gonna cook dinner, but I want like a snack, you know, so. And we have no milk. We only have creamer. There's not much I can do with these besides put them in water, which is really gross. <laughs> so what I actually think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna water down some creamer. Perfect. I'm so Person. Take a little bit of this, make it yummy. I'm gonna put in a little bit of maple syrup to give it some. The fuck? What am I thinking of? Sweetness! So I guess I'm just having peanut butter oatmeal. This is crunchy peanut butter. We are out of cashews, and cashews are my favorite. Not. I don't know. I'm just bored, so I'm fucking making oatmeal. I don't know. Mmm, queenie. Here we go. We have our oatmeal. Hello, focus. Gorge. Focus before it falls. Anyways, y'all know what oatmeal looks like. I won't be saying it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. As I was walking just now, I accidentally kicked a hair tie that was on the ground and it flew across across the room. And I thought it was a spider, but it was just a hair tie. Anyways, this tastes funny. Hot. I think I'm having like a moment where like I'm tasting something in my head, but it's not actually what I'm tasting. It's like psychological. I'm truly always thinking about my next meal. It's not healthy. I am a bard. I will retire with the crown. Yes. yes. No, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. yes. It's also raining outside and that's a bummer. Overall bum nation. How is the quarantine going? Buffalo, bitch, ignoring me. What's up everyone? This morning, I woke up really early, finished a client's project, exporting that now, getting it to them as quickly as I can. Look at my hairy legs, you wanna see? <laughs> Have not shaved, honestly. This is like way before the quarantine. I would blame it on the quarantine, but bitch has not been shaving her legs. Jesus, 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 I love to praise your name. I believe God is real. Hey, bitch, it's me again. I will never get over you, Mr. Teddy Bill. I never get over you, Mr. Teddy Bill. So as you can see, groceries are becoming scarce. My roommate and I decided to do Instacart. My roommate and I. My roommate and I. <laughs> And I've used Instacart before, and you can like literally get groceries within an hour of ordering them. But the nearest... 
Sometimes I really just to be blanking out <laughs> in the middle of what I'm saying. Animal Crossing, wanna, I wanna give you like a little update on how she's going. So far I have, I built a few homes. I love it, it's also ruined my work ethic. Like I literally have so many jobs lined up that I need to do that I haven't done. Um, So might be losing some clients after this, but that's okay. No it's not, I need to pay my bills. Y'all see that, it's a bird clock. She really do be saying things, huh? How many people you think have lived in this house since 1920? Well, that's kind of a mind fuck, honestly. I just thought about that. Like, we're probably like the 9,000th person to live in this house. That's 100 years! This is 100 years! Anyways, don't know what I got planned tonight. I have some yellow rice going. Oh my god. I'm trying to be artsy here. I'm trying to get some beet roll. We really don't have any vegetables, I don't think. Are you serious? I was like looking around for vegetables, like frozen. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Okay, we have some, we have found petite peas maybe? Who knows? Okay, I'm just gonna, oh my God, this is probably such a sin, but I don't care. Look what I found in the back of the pantry. These are from Halloween. I got these on Amazon to put in our punch when we had a Halloween, Halloween. Halloween, <laughs> when we had a holler. Mmm, <laughs> they're disgusting. It's about 12.30, I'm making a midnight snack because I've been editing for the majority of the night. My roommate, she pickled some cucumbers a couple days ago, and I was just like roaming around the kitchen. Like I said, we don't really have that many groceries yet until tomorrow, but I'm thinking I want to try tahini and pickles. So I made toast, <laughs> butter toast with manchego, cheese on it and pickles and i'm thinking i'll put some tahine why not take a crazy chance good morning good morning today we're making hash brown peel potatoes grate the potato No, no. 